excited. This is probably the most popular emotion in the English speaking world. But what if our target language does not have such a word? What will you do then? In this video, I prepared a couple of options that you can use to say that you are excited, but in Russian. I saved what is, in my opinion, the closest and the best translation for towards the end of the video. First deal with those that are easy to use, even if you are a beginner in Russian. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much are you guys excited to learn Russian at the moment? Be honest. And if you're learning several languages simultaneously, give me a rank of the most and the least exciting languages for you in the comments below. I see people trying to translate excited into Russian all the time, and many of them fail because Google usually gives you взволнованный, it gives you worried, as if there is something negative to worry about. What can we say instead? Usually we are excited for something to happen, we are excited for an upcoming moment. Here I would use a simple Я не могу дождаться. Я не могу дождаться. I can't wait to begin this new job. Я не могу дождаться начать эту новую работу. The next month I'm going to Mexico. I'm so excited. В следующем месяце я еду в Мексику. Я не могу дождаться. I'm so excited to open my birthday presents. Не могу дождаться открыть свои подарки на день рождения. I know, I know, I'm excited and I can't wait are somehow different things. Like I said, you cannot translate excited fully into Russian and that's okay. Learning a language is not about translating things. It's about finding a way to express yourself. And every language has exclusive ways for you to express what you feel and what you think. We need to appreciate this. Let me know in the comments if you would like to hear about some Russian words that are impossible to translate into other languages. Another instance when we say excited is when we are just happy, agitated. We are full of emotions at the moment because something is happening or something happened recently. So what word can we use to express this state of mind? I would go with something simple. You could just say Ya rad or Ya rada for female. Ya rad, Ya rada. I'm glad. Ya shasliv, Ya shasliva. I'm happy. And the favorite one of mine in this section is Ya v vastorge. Ya v vastorge. I'm thrilled. I got a unicorn. I'm so excited. Мне подарили единорога. Я в восторге. We are excited to announce. Мы рады объявить. I was excited to announce that I got engaged. Я была счастлива рассказать всем, что я помолвлена. If you want to say something and the word for it doesn't exist, or you simply don't know a word for it, that's okay. Don't get stuck in this point. Go a little farther from there. See the bigger picture. See what else you can say. Don't be afraid to leave the box. Don't be afraid to think out of the box. I think the whole 21st century is about this lesson. And there is another instance of use when you want to say to someone, don't get too excited. And there is a beautiful, beautiful Russian translation for this expression. Не горячись. Горячиться is the verb that is actually difficult to translate to. It comes from the adjective горячий, meaning hot. Горячиться is when emotions are boiling inside of you. You are so agitated that you maybe cannot think straight. And if you want to tell someone, don't be too emotional, that don't get too excited, it's too early to get excited. Or something like that, you could say не горячись. Wait, да, подожди, не горячись. Why I love languages so much is because every language is a whole system that organizes how we feel and how we think. I think any language can give us this lesson to not get stuck in this one and only system, to always go and look for new ways of expressing, new ways of saying something. Word I wanted to give you, it's my favorite translation for I'm excited. And it also has something to do with upcoming events. When I'm looking forward to doing something, to seeing something, to going somewhere, and I think it's the closest one to excited, actually, is предвкушаю. Я предвкушаю. Я уже предвкушаю эту победу. I'm so excited for this victory. I'm already experiencing emotions of this victory. Предвкушаю literally will mean for taste. Предвкушаю, for taste. Means that I can taste it even before it happened. Я предвкушаю. So I'm feeling these emotions even before it actually happened. I'm excited to go on a road trip with my friends this weekend. Я уже предвкушаю путешествия с друзьями в эти выходные. 
Я уже предвкушаю, как я буду работать на новой работе. Я уже предвкушаю, как я закончу школу и начну новую жизнь. Не могу дождаться. Я рад. О, я рада. Я счастлив. О, я счастлива. Я в восторге. Я предвкушаю. So I hope this video got you inspired to learn new words, to learn new languages, to learn new ways of thinking, and to subscribe to my channel and watch this next video.